What up brothers, it's Clipper King returning for a really quick one minute review of Batman vs Superman. I will say I took my 13 year old daughter to see it this morning, April the 2nd, the Saturday morning showing. And I went in with an open mind. I have read the critiques, I have seen the reviews and I did know the spoilers. It didn't really bother me, like I said I went in with an open mind. I'll just say I did enjoy Man of Steel. And I do like how this film followed on from that. Although I'm never a massive fan of the world engine in Man of Steel. But like I said, the fight with Zod were good to me. I will say I found Batman were amazing in this film. It is finally the cinematic Batman I've always wanted to see. Not stiff and rigid like he normally is. But very, very fluid. Very uh, acrobatic. And I think his gadgets actually made a difference in this film. Where they never seemed to to me. Um... Just to run down the film, like I said, I did enjoy the beginning. I think it was really good. And then it becomes a little bit slow for possibly 45 minutes an hour. There's a few key scenes in there, but it's a little bit slow paced. When it kicks off sort of midway through the film, and you're sort of looking at Batman fighting Superman, it becomes very epic, I think. It's shot in a really good way, although a little bit dark. Um, when that's out of the way, and Batman and Superman obviously become friends, and Wonder Woman's introduced, you then see the... Uh, the Trinity do have to go against Doomsday. Doomsday, like I said, I'm not a loyal DC comic lover, so Doomsday, the appearance of him, didn't really bother me one way or the other. I, I'm not one of them, I need everything to be loyal to the comic. I really don't give a fuck. I just want to be entertained for a couple of hours. So I think they did a decent job putting in like a huge threat, which they did. And I do like how they wrap the film up. I think it leads in quite nicely to the other DC Universe films that we're going to see. And all in all, very enjoyable. I would possibly go and see it again. I would definitely buy it on Blu-ray. I think Amir enjoyed it more than I did. But uh, like I said, definitely above average and definitely worth a watch. So that's my review done. This is Clipper King and I'm out of here.